everyone, it's Brendan Pyrite back here for more Prince of Persia and the Forgotten Sands. In the last episode, we got to, uh, the, um, we ran past a bunch of angry scarabs, and in this episode, we are now being uh, hunted by an archer right off the bat, and he just got kind of knocked off the cliff, and he'll, uh, go, uh, back to where he once came, so very fun. Going to here... This tank used to collect rainwater for the beasts of the menagerie. It may still be connected to the sluices on the battlements. Okay. So, uh, we have some sort of drainage area, as, um, Genie told us. Here you have just something pr insanely mean where the developers made you, like, risk running into the ivy, which I think is really actually kind of brutal. It's an easy way of getting yourself killed, but... Our six-legged friends have found us again! Alright, so here we go. We've got to run to the top fast. Uh, you got to run across this wall here. Uh, then up, and this... Th um, I don't even know if this is actually timed or anything. Because I, like, take, take my time on that portion of the chase, and it, it nothing happens, usually. So anyway, with that, we, uh, kind of put them in some other place and drain them into oblivion, uh, or kind of somewhat crush them. Here we go. There goes the water, and they're flooded out. Actually, I don't have a story about present day equivalent to scarabs. Cockroaches! Um, while I was doing my, um, oh, so there we go, we got a... Ha! Got them! The palace awaits. We All right, so we're gonna be going. Uh, sorry, I'm checking my computer because my dazzle was freaking out on me earlier. Um, so now we're gonna go on a quicker route. In the meantime, I will tell you my story about scarabs. Oh my gosh, what? I didn't even see that. Oh, that was actually really, really scary. Um, so my story about scarabs is that. Oh my gosh, jump, Prince Squeeze. Oh shoot. Oh my God, what? You can do this. This is bad. Jump. There we go. Oh my god. Okay, that was awesome. So, my story about scarabs, or more or less, uh, present day scarabs, cockroaches. Um, while I was, um, uh, I ordered my, um, high school books, um, off Amazon. And, um, in one of the packages, they essentially sent me a cockroach. There was a cockroach in one of the boxes. And, um, and in order to, um, I guess I shuttle it, um, but of course you can't really kill a cockroach. So what we ended up doing was we ended up using my, like, enormous, um, biology book. Um, I don't have count yet, do I? This is bad. I can do this. No, there's this, the spinning thing. That's interesting. Um, what we ended up doing was, um, Alright, can you lure him into this? Uh, let's see. Let's see what that does. Um, what I ended up doing is to Um, what I ended up doing was, um, I ended up using, um, my textbooks that I ordered to, um, bury the cockroach. So, that was kind of clever thinking. Uh, how am I gonna take care of this guy? I just guess I'm just gonna. For this guy, I'm just gonna knock him around with the pallet and just shoot. He's usually quite a bit more patient about um, uh, when he's gonna attack you. So until he, um, he can get um, his armor off, I'm just gonna use the pallet because um, that twists on him, like you can see. And then he can do a variety of evil things. Um, but, uh, oh, well, this one should be awesome. So, yeah, I ended up using my textbooks to bury a cockroach. Though, unfortunately, the prince doesn't have any 20 pound cock. 20 pound. Um. 20 pound. Uh. Textbooks to bury his cockroaches with. So, there you go. Alright, so we just kind of got a kind of nice look at the. Um. What seems to be a menagerie. Almost. Um. It's just very peaceful looking. You wouldn't expect this to be. 
You know a great deal about this place, Zara. I know a great deal about many things, my prince. So you do, but especially here. The sorceress claimed you have driven out your kind. Did you live here once? It is best to ignore the witch. Her mind is twisted by the corruption of the Aoma. Okay, so um, you're going to want to kind of get as far over there as you can before you um, <coughs> approach this part. You're going to want to drink up this potion and... You get the potion remix, whatever. Yeah, anyway. So now that you've gotten that, you get like a thousand different things. Which I will probably like mess around with later, I don't know. So, pull this down. Now we've got kind of an interesting puzzle. Now we have to run all the way over here, flip this, jump back down, parkour roll, jump, roll again, and you're good. And now we have kind of a um, board twisting thing. This is kind of just um, the beginning of the 2D stages. So they kind of try and be nice with what they throw at you, which is, I suppose, generous. Um, um, I don't... Oh, okay, there was something there. I couldn't quite tell, because, um, as you might be able to see, the lighting um, in here is a little weird. That's because I'm actually recording this in the afternoon, um, because I figured I should record this, and I didn't have any other better times, so there you go. So now... To get back, you're going to want to just swing across the poles as fast as you can. Uh, it's not too difficult. Um, if you've done the um, 2D portion um, in the um, unlockables mode, um, you'll notice that this is um, almost inferior to the challenges in that. Um, uh, they're quite a bit trickier, but I will probably do them as, a, um, as an extra episode later. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, going into this, we, uh, knock this down and keep going. Alright, and speaking of getting knocked down, um, funny thing happened today, um, like, um, as many of you probably know, high schools generally have stairs, and, um, mine of course does, and someone, um, got knocked down, like, near the stairs, and people started doing the, um, I don't know if this is the actual scientific name for it, but they started doing the, um, I think it's called the, um, the gr it's not like called the group effect, nor the party effect, though it's known for happening at, um, parties and things. Okay, that's, uh, so I'm gonna see if I keep you. doing this well, All right, I'll have my own kingdom and very run soon. Back. Anyway, um... Oh, what did that do? Oh, does that move this over? I guess it does. Um... What was I gonna say? Well, um, people, like, um, started doing, um, like, I think it's, like, called, like, a crowd effect or something? What the... Sorry. Um, but people, like, started, like, trying to, like, kick him on the ground. It was really bad. It was, like, kind of unlikely, because, like, um, my high school isn't, like, just a bad place, you know? Like, what I mean? I don't know. Maybe I'm just, like, freaking out over something that no one cares about, because everyone, like, you know, falls on the stairs and then everyone kicks them and has a good time on them? I'm not sure. Um... Okay, which way? No, that way doesn't exist. That's a wall there. There you go. Um, I'm sure probably none of you know this because I've never said anything that would allude to it, but I am, like, really badly nearsighted? Nearsighted. Nearsighted. Um, I don't trust myself to make that. That looks really, really, uh, kind of dangerous. Um, hmm. And, but I don't think any of you do this puzzle. Um, I can risk it, but that seems like quite a drop. I mean, one of these is probably several of those. Um, let's see. But it doesn't look like I can run across any walls to get back. 
What I don't like about this part of the game is that the environments constant that the environments seem to change. One way to get places isn't always the same. Like, I don't know, that's the way it seems to me. I think I'm gonna um cut to when I figure this out, because I'm just blanking. So two things. Firstly, you got counterattack, you haven't mentioned that. I got counterattack when I drank the potion. Oh. That's from new attack. I didn't notice. Okay, so, and? Put a spirit hook on the wall above it, and then jump to it. You can't do that. Are you sure? What, like this? Put, like, a spirit hook on it. Turn the camera. Put, like, a spirit hook there, jump from it from there, and get to there. That'd be clever, but I can't put the spirit hooks on any places except these. Ah. Sorry. This one. I'll just try making the jump, then. The fall. Uh, it's the only way you can do it from here. Alright, guys. Oh, wait. No. Sorry. <clears throat> How's this doing? Oh, my God. I dropped a lot of frames, but it's not going up, so... Just keep going. Yeah. Alright, guys. I've made my decision. I'm gonna fall, and I overreacted. It was nothing. I'm just being a bozo like usual. And the door actually kind of closes behind you. So, you don't, you aren't able to go back there, so, if you miss that blue potion, then that is really too bad for you. Um, I think here, yeah, you just run across the wall. Uh, the wall runs, they always, they're the most, like, basic staple, almost, of the whole series. Yet, I always doubt to on doing them, because it's just so unlikely. Uh, I mean, uh, it's also unrealistic, but, I mean, I don't know. I would love to run on walls, but, um, that ca gravity kind of stops that from happening, because the force that you would apply on the wall would push you off it, unless it's on a curved surface. Um, in which case, um, if it's going inwards, I think you could do that. But, hey, look, we've... Excellent. The scarabs have abandoned the statue. And with that, the part of the gate moves into place, and it um, opens up the grate over there. Now, I don't know if that's supposed to get you the um, lone scarab or whatever, um, because that never goes off in my game. Maybe it's just a glitch in my copy. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I've never actually found the Lone Scarab. That's one of the, uh, few accomplishments I've never gotten on my own. Um, and I've never took time to look it up, actually. But, uh, I don't know. Whatever. So, uh, over here you have a, um, kind of useless plate thing. It doesn't really do anything. I, I've never understood why that's there. I'm probably forgetting something, like, at the beginning. But I can't think of that right now. Alright, so. I think now would be a good time to leave us off again. So, in this episode, we accomplished, um, well, Return of the which is a bit of an accomplishment of itself, and kind of not. I don't know. And next time... <laughs> We'll see why there's so many vines on this part of the building. So I will see you all then. So if you want to solve all the recording devices or what? <coughs> um, I think I'm going to keep going. Oh, uh, is it still seeing me fun? Oh, uh, yeah. Right. I'm going to pee. Should I stop this camera? I don't know. No, because that movie every single day. Hello everyone, it's Brendan Pyrite back here for more Prince of Persia and the Forgotten Sands. In the last episode, we returned from the Scarabs, and now we are going to be going on to the f uh, flower area, um, or the vine area. But before you do that, you're going to want to roll about, like, 20 times into a wall. Um, to get a few achievements, uh, you need to get him to rebound off it, like that, like this, no, like this, yeah, you need to make him recoil, so I'm gonna cut to once I've achieved that. Okay, there we go, we got Rick, and, uh, 
all that stuff. So, um, that, uh, was just a little thing for an achievement there. Alright, going back. Uh, this may look slightly longer, but don't worry, you can get across it just fine. It does a, uh, little 360 thing. It's, it's very cool. Anyway, also, um, in the last episode, we also got the counterattack, which I didn't even notice. And that counterattack is going to be so, so helpful in just doing pretty much everything. Uh, it does encounter strong attacks and everything, and the strong attacks, um, are the ones where they, where their weapon, um, glows red. So, you'll be able to tell, um, when they're going to be doing it, so you'll know when your chance is. Um, then you have, uh, a big series of, uh, scary traps here. So I'm gonna go right about now, and there you go. I always jump over the last trap, uh, just because that's how I do things. I don't think you need to, but I always just have, and it's always worked, so there you go. Uh, so, epic wall run. Uh, we'll barely grab onto the ledge, um, and I'm not gonna use that meme thing. The greenhouses were once lush and alive, a marvel even amongst the beauty of Istahar. Where you remember beauty, I see only decay. I know this is not the kingdom you imagined for yourself, but you can return it to its glory. I have faith in you, uh, my prince. Thank you. Alright, so after that touching cutscene, we, um, kind of just, um, not roll, uh, we climb up this, uh, uh, stone, um, towerish area, and we see just how overran, um, this area is with, uh, plant life, or overgrown, not overran, uh, so, th this also is very plentiful in terms of save points, like, all the save points are here, so... Uh, like, that's one thing I really, really like about this game. You can really pick it up and then put it down, because there's always all the save points ever, and all the voice cracks ever. So, um, I'm not gonna display the counterattack until, um, I have- oh. So, I'm gonna throw this guy. I'm just gonna try and get a little bit of damage on the wacky so I can focus on the, um, on the guitar. Oh, shoot. Alright, so, he comes at you, and then you can the one thing you can do is just that. Just keep smacking him with the bullet, and then until it, um, his armor comes off, and then um, just finish him. Really. Okay, now we've got a uh, group of guitars, for sure, that'll you know, cause some trouble. Um, the archers, um, are gonna just keep um, smacking you, and if you want the experience like I do, then have a lot of um, lay down time. So all I can recommend is don't stay in the place, uh, and just stun your guard really in uh, spin attack. Spin attack spin. Um also um, ouch. um also just um, do like um not gorilla tactics. Um just do stalling tactics on the archer. Um and you'll be fine. There we go. So, plenty of experience to level up our tornado attack. That is what we are leveling up next. Many of the um abilities came to round up several times, like the tornado attack. Um, I, I think this one will um increase damage and the next one increases range, if not both. Um Oh Alright, so there we go, we have our goal. And we have our technical failure. I even looked towards where the camera usually would have been, but my camera just killed itself. So, yeah. I think I'm gonna probably just upload this along with the other one and then stop it here. Um, because I think that'll make it a decently long episode, and yeah. So sorry about that, there's probably going to be a bit of editing involved to make it flow a little better. But otherwise, uh, thank you guys very much for watching, and um, also in this week, there will probably be a, well now that the camera's dead, probably not a Saturday Prince of Persia because I won't have any time to record it, but there will be a ton of Pokemon Coliseum, and probably, uh, well I'm going to make sure that there is, um, 
this um, Sunday. There will be a Sunday special for sure, absolutely. And then there's going to be uh, Pokemon Coliseum before because I won't have this to upload. I really wish I did, but um, as you might have noticed, um, there will probably be a lot of drop frames. My Dazzle only sometimes likes recording this, and I just really need to get this out while I have the opportunity. So, um, regardless of all those, um, uh, not facts or any, I don't know. Regardless to whatever those are, thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all next time.